to uh, invite, host, and present to you uh, member of Knesset, Mish Dilit. Member of Knesset, Mish Dilit, the former uh, minister uh, in the government of Israel, is a friend of the spirit expressed in Wikimania and Wikimedia. Uh, he has a long list of accomplishments related to the notion of knowledge, copyright reform, and the like. Member of Mr. Shikrit is uh, credited, among other things, for having initiated a discussion of Wikipedia in the Knesset on the occasion of 100,000 articles in Hebrew Wikipedia. It's a honor to welcome you, Member of Mr. Shikrit, and uh, we're all waiting to listen to you. First, to congratulate the Kimania uh, people and group which came from all over the world. Welcome to Israel, welcome to Haifa. Haifa is a beautiful place, just one of the beautiful places in Israel. And I'm glad to be here with you today. I'd uh, like as well to say that when I was a little boy, it was many years ago, my dream was to buy an encyclopedia. And I had a fight with my parents. I demand for them to buy for me. And it's a way the prices was high, the income was very low, it was very difficult to have a sick beta, which cost a lot of money. After years of uh, finding that time, remember we didn't have any television in Israel. There were not many possibilities of entertainment. So I was from one of those boys and girls who was reading. It's the uh, main Israel. And the last they uh, bought for me. And it's kind of encyclopedia at that time, they called the young technician. A technician, it's a real, a Bulgarian, it's a great young technician. And I got this uh, beautiful uh, series of books. I read them from A to Z, all the books, which give me a lot of knowledge about science, mostly science. My dream was to bring to every child in Israel and if it's possible to everyone in the world, an encyclopedia. And I thought that it could be done, I think in 1999, when I was Minister of Finance, I called up the chairman of the Center for Technological Education, and I asked him to develop a CD-ROM, which would be an encyclopedia on the CD-ROM, like the Laurier or the Britannica, etc. And I was willing to finance whatever it costs, and give it free to every child in Israel, to every child in Israel. And they could not deliver. And now, Wikipedia, from my point of view, realized my dream much better than I thought. I think one has to understand the big contribution of Wikipedia to the world. Many, many children in the world, and also in Israel. The Palestinians have the ability to buy for them books or to give them encyclopedia or to give them possibilities to study on the right way. Wikipedia created this opportunity for all the world that people can come get into the, through the web to the Wikipedia and learn about every subject they want to. It's open to everyone and the beautiful thing about it, it is updated all the time which is not correct for an encyclopedia. Usually who remembers those who have the old encyclopedias like Britannica? They have to publish every year a new book for updating what happens during the last year. Now in Wikipedia it is updated all the time. It is the most accurate encyclopedia because every subject in the, this uh, Wikipedia can be criticized by others, can be corrected by others, can be exact. On the last point, it will be exact. So you get the best information you can get. And everything done from the point of view of the people who are using it, free, free of charge, free of any obligations. They can get in whenever they want, get out whenever they want. They can write in, they can contribute to the Wikipedia. And I would like to salute you. That's the reason I can, to salute the Wikipedia for this big achievement for the world.
You know, in order to use Wikipedia in the best way, we need a big, uh, we need a very good role. And I'm sorry to say that Israel, even we are considered to be a superpower of internet, a superpower of high tech, still Israel is struggling with the problems that we have in this area. I think that our infrastructure is not good enough. It's like we have people who have a formula cars, but they have no roads to drive on. We have to improve very seriously the infrastructure of the internet in order to really to let the people surf with the speed of 100 megabytes compared to the average of 2.5 to 4 megabytes in Israel, which is very bad when we're speaking about download, I'm not speaking about upload, which is much, much more slow. So we have to develop this kind of infrastructure, we're working in it, I'm fighting in the Knesset and government in order to really make a big progress about it, in order to create different a big road which will be open, give the possibility to people to serve fast, immediately get into the internet. Secondly, we have to lower, lower the prices that people are using the internet. Just uh, this week I was uh, uh, marking the Knesset the fact that uh, when I compare the price that Israel pay for the, those services like internet, cable TV, and telephone together, triple case between France, for example, Israel, find out that in France people are paying for 100 megabyte internet speed, 450 television channels, no limitation of telephone calls from home, 30 euros a month. The Israelis they pay on the lowest company which suggests the triple three times more. And that one five times more. That's totally unjustified and it's happened because the government is not open enough really to create inside a very good competition and give possibilities to those who want to lower the prices because it is important. And for example, the main fact was that when new people want to come to this area, they put instead of the, in front of them a lot of obstacles that they have to put a lot of money as guarantees. I would give them the guarantees of present if they were willing to make those prices in Israel. That's what we need to do because we have to give it to make this possibility to every child in Israel to use it. It has a lot of influence about the future of those children, because today internet can use for a lot of, not only for Wikipedia, you can learn from long ago, you can have the best lecturer all over on every subject you want through the internet if you have the facilities to do it. So there is a lot, long work before of us. Another thing that I try to promote is really the possibility to give up the IP of the government about all the documents which are not secret and about pictures of the government, which is stupid in my opinion, not in the... I'm glad to say that the law had passed criminal call, it's now in the discussion committee for the first call. I will not let it down. I will keep fighting until it will come up. And remember that. Even if this government will not fall it, I will keep fighting in the future because it's just a matter of time until we come back to the government. Then it will be come out. I'll be personally responsible to do it because I believe it is important. <laughs> and I would like to say thanks to uh, Mr. Wells, to Mr. Sue Gardner and the chairman of the Israeli Wikipedia, Mr. Tumar Shur, for the good opportunity to give for us in Israel to see these beautiful people which come from all over the world. I wish you the best in the future. Thank you.